Hello, this is your boy, So Touch, Southern Treasures Productions out of Savannah, Georgia. Today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up the X32 um, mixer from Behringer. Um, we're going to be using Ableton to function as a 32-track recorder. And the first thing, you, of course, you need to do is make sure that your Behringer is hooked up. Um, to your computer um, then we're going to go you open up Ableton right now I have a template um, that I use it's already set up but I'm going to go through the steps for you um, to get this to record Ableton to record your 32 tracks you have to set it up to receive the 32 tracks from the Behringer mixer first thing you do is to go into options under options, you'll go into preferences. Then, under preferences, you'll go under where it says audio devices. Right now, I have it for the Behringer um, XUF USB AZO. Um, but all of your devices will show up here. Um, but you click on to the Behringer that XUF USB AZO. Um, you can download the driver from Barrington site. Um, make sure you have the newest driver um, for it. That way, it'll recognize your your X32 mixer to on your computer. Then you're going to where it says Input Configuration right underneath, and you click on Input Configuration. And what you're trying to do is to get all your tracks to show up. Um, by default, it'll show up as one mono and two mono highlighting and also um, one slash two stereo. Okay. We're going to rec be recording in a mono mode. Now, keep in mind that the more tracks that you highlight, um, the more resources that your computer uses. Um, so you only want to record, um, you wanna only want to arm the tracks that um, you're going to be using. But we're going to have um, all 32 tracks highlighted, um, 1 to 32 down here, um, and m working in mono. Then we'll click on OK. Now this enables the software to be assigned to one of these 32 tracks. Each track on Ableton um, will be able to be assigned to that. next thing we'll do is we'll go to our tracks. By default, you'll have one audio track and one media um, track on the blank um, set. So what you'll do is we'll be using working with audio tracks. So on your first audio track, um, you'll come down to your input, audio from, and you're going to click it. Once you click it, it'll highlight um, your 1, 2 stereo right here, and then your 1 through 32 tracks that you just selected um, in the preferences. So for channel 1, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and make channel 1 input from 1, okay? Um, channel 2, we do the same thing, input from channel 2. As you can see, my mic is hooked up on channel 2. Um, is the little lever is coming right here. Um, if you come over to my Behringer 32, you'll see my mic here is um, feeding on line 2 as well. It's routed to um, DCA1. So if I wanted to adjust my volume, I go to my DCA1. If I turn it down here, um, the volume goes down. If I turn it back up, um, you'll be able to hear me again. All right. Um, but it records from the 32 tracks. Um, what I had to do is I renamed all my tracks, channel 1, 2, 3, 4, respectively. To do that in Ableton, all you do is um, right-click, go to rename, and then you um, will make it whatever you want to make it. I also set my colors up to kind of match my Behringer X32 configuration for now. Um, the 
these kind of pinkish color ones are for my wireless mics. Um, the first eight are like pink. So as you can see, my channels one through eight are pink. Um, the next four are like yellow, um, blue, red, and then the rest of them were unassigned, and they were all by default, um, that yellowish color. Um, and to change the color in Ableton, all you do is the same thing. Um, select the tracks that you want, right-click, and the colors that you pick are right here. Whatever you pick here shows up there. So you just get something kind of close to what's over there. And that's just for visual reference. You know, if you're recording a live show, um, you know, you might have your drums listed one color. Um, and that way it just makes it easier to locate the 32 tracks that you have um, to record on. Right. Um, I believe that should be it. Like I said, once you got to keep in mind that the more tracks that you have, um, the more resources, which cause it to make some funky noises, crackling, um, a lot of hissing. Um, you can have some some real bad sound effects if your CPA uh, CPU isn't you know, up to par, which I don't have a lot of memory on this particular computer here, but it is set up to do a lot of recording. Um, you have to arm each of the tracks into Ableton in order for them to actually record. Um, I'm going to be doing another video um, with the MIDI um, from the Behringer X32 where you can actually use the Behringer um, mixer to trigger your record, stop, um, and your track volumes um, into Ableton. But I'll do that on another video. Also, I'm going to be showing you how to use um, the Behringer um, to actually to accept inputs from your DAW software. All right. Uh, this is your boy, So Touch, from Southern Treasures Productions out of Savannah, Georgia. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have a lot more videos on this X32 coming.